Halloween. Once or twice, up to you. Uh, to you. Once, twice. I win both boards. Yeah, that's right. You better walk away. Go and walk away, because I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. King Kong ain't got shit on me. A few more orbits have passed, and here, the Under the Gun player has opened to $20, and a tightish player in the low jack has called. A couple players fold, and I look down at King Queen of Diamonds on the button. Great hand. A raise is for sure in order, and we make it $130 to go. When the blinds fold and action returns to the Under the Gun player, he piles in $400, and the low jack folds. No, not by no, no, it's not fun anymore. No. Not even a little bit. In theory, this hand probably calls on this spot 100% of the time, or damn close to it. But I really don't care about theory all that much here. Do I think he is bluffing into this spot into both the low jack and I? No. Is he a maniac? Also no. So all the mumbo jumbo about blockers, out the window. Exploit, fold. He shows us pocket kings. The straddle is on in this one from a player not particularly aggressive and the under the gun player has limped in. Action folds around to my big blind and without much fear of getting raised, I call the additional $10 with 7-8 offsuit and the straddler checks. King of diamonds, 10 of diamonds, 4 spades. No one shows much interest in betting this sort of dynamic and definitely draw a board. It gets checked through. Turn deuce of clubs. This card shouldn't change much, and if they aren't interested, I'll take it. I lead for $40 with my no pair, no draw, eight high monster, and that does the trick. Two hands later, I open the button with 10 eight of clubs, and I get called by both blinds. Ace of spades, four of spades, six of diamonds. A big nothing for me and maybe for everyone else because there's no betting. Five of diamonds. I do pick up a gut shot, but that's about it. Still no betting. Nine of spades. Well, I missed everything and both players check it to me. Doubtful I'm gonna win with 10 high, so I slide $60 into the pot to help them move along. They move along. Get the chalk for his outline. Top three, ain't nobody stop me. Top two, still around, you get chopped too. Quick slice, cause we've been ablaze. Thought you was heat, but in my gate when we bring the flames. Huh. And I'm done being modest. This the only option, and it's obvious. Better check your watch, you know what time it is. Best under pressure, like when time is hit. And if it ain't a shoot, we ain't tying shit. Better keep it moving. I got some points worth proving. Even if I leave with some bruises, I'ma still leave you in ruins. I will live another day. You will have a price to pay. At least you did better than the last guys. Feels pretty good to be the bad guy. Some points worth proving. Even if I leave with some bruises, I'ma still leave you in ruins. Three hours into the session, and it seems ripe for a mid-session update. Um, the first hour and a half, maybe two, of this game, nothing going on. 
the last hour and a half, maybe two, of this game, everything going on. Picked up aces twice. Um, I think I just chopped a pot with king-queen suited. I've stolen a bunch of hands. Uh, some of that I got recorded. Some of it I haven't. I've been playing around um, with these new Ray-Bans that I got for Christmas that do video recording. The table is loosened up. We even got the uh, 20 straddle on, the 40, the 80, the 160. Not only is the game good now, but my image in the game is exactly where I want it to be. I've shown down some um, hands that have been less than stellar. So let's hope showing those less than stellar hands is going to get me paid in the future. Right now, I'm here out at Ballet just to take a quick break, but we're going to get back in there because I don't want to miss any of the game while it's good. What's it? The straddle is back on, and Bruno on the button is opening the $50 at the same time I'm looking down at... Oh, no. <laughs> and things this session were going so good. I raised to $200, and he calls pretty quickly. Ace, Jack, Seven with two diamonds. Oh my god. Is that really an ace on the flop? I lead for $150 before it dematerializes, and he flashes pocket nines at me before tossing them in the muck. He makes a comment that lets me know he hasn't forgotten about my ace for offsuit three bet from earlier. I should tread carefully. Much more ace for flop. <laughs> Much more ace for flop. <laughs> I decide to get tricky in this next one, and it bites me in the ass. Under the Gun 2 opens to $40 and gets called by the low jack and the high jack. I'm curious about the Under the Gun 2's larger opening size when I glance down at... The Rockets again? I 3-bet to $230, which loses the Under the Gun 2 player and the low jack very quickly. The high jack? Stubborn. He comes along. Eight, five, deuce, all clubs. Ugh, yuck. This flop doesn't mean I'm dead, but opponents calling in position tend to have a lot more suited cards than players three betting. I could continue here, but I opt to get slick and check. He takes the lead now with a $260 bet, and I call. The turn six of spades feels a bit better than the flop, but doesn't really change much, and I don't have the betting lead anyway. I check again, and I'm not too surprised when he checks it back. My flush worries are a little bit alleviated. Until the river. The ace of clubs. I'm normally happy to river a set. Not here. Our newly found top set has just turned into a bluff catcher. But... Catching bluffs isn't necessary, as he checks it back once again. I had you. Yeah? I table my hand. He says that he had me until the river, so I guess he's claiming a set as well. Either way, I'm happy to pull this pot in on this scary board. Following that hand, I fold six deuce offsuit in the small blind, and in the next hand, action is folded to me on the button as I look down at jacks. Damn good selection of starting hands today, huh? I open to $30, and both blinds come along. Nine of diamonds, six of spades, three of clubs. Both blinds check, and I continue for $30, which is maybe a little bit small. The small blind folds, and the big blind continues. The turn queen of clubs slows things down a bit. We both check. The river five of hearts does bring in one of the front door straight draws, but the big blind checks again. 
I toss in $50 and the big blind looks me up. And I drag another one. Ace 10 of hearts in the cutoff. Very playable. Bruno in the hijack opens to $30. Ace 10 of hearts is also very 3 bettable. I make it $100. Action folds back to Bruno and he 4 bets to $300. You think you can do this to me? You motherfucker! Hmm. My hand is a high percentage fold, but remember, I've been all over the place this session. This hand is likely much stronger than he thinks it is. I call. Deuce of diamonds, nine of spades, six of spades. He continues for $120 and I fold. Nothing going on here. The dealer gathers a new deck from the shuffler and the next hand begins. From the hijack, I glance at my first card. The five of spades. I only have one card because the dealer, being funny, has left my other card in the middle of the table. Funny guy. You know what? I don't care about that card. Open to $30. The cutoff then three bets me and large $130. Hmm. Maybe I do need to look at this other card. Wow. The ace of spades. My man. <laughs> Action folds back to me. Decision time. I could very, very easily find a four bet here in a vacuum, but let's consider all the variables. Yes, the table thinks I'm playing crazy, but the cutoff isn't crazy. And his three bet was abnormally large, which normally means he's got something. With my image, is my 4-bet going to push him off this something? Probably not. I call. 4 hearts, 8 of clubs, 8 of spades. I check and he continues for half pot. Half pot? On this board? Smells fishy. I might have the best hand. Or another ace might be good. Who knows? I don't yet believe him. Call. Turn deuce of diamonds. I check. He checks it back. The river pairs the four. Now I lead for $140, obviously folding to a raise, and if he calls, I either lose or we're chopping. He quickly calls. He shows Ace of Hearts King of Diamonds, and we chop. I think you were the only person that saw that I only saw one card. I know you only saw one card. You saw the ace and you played it. No, it was the five. I saw the five. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how good you are. Yeah. Here, watch my blow. I'm a really good poker player. I open the button holding ace-jack offsuit and get looked up by the small blind. King of diamonds, queen of diamonds, three of clubs. He checks and... Although this is just a slam dunk range bet board, I check it back. The turn 10 of clubs, Yahtzee, and he checks again. I make it $70 and he pretty quickly calls. River, king of spades. He checks once more. This card is great. He should probably think that there is no way I have a king because I check back the flop. He called my turn bet, so either he has diamonds, which will fold anyway, or a queen or 10. I slide $150 into the middle, but he snap folds. So remember at the mid-session update when I said the game was good, I wanted to get back to it because it was good and blah, 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 blah. Well, when I got back to the game, it wasn't as good anymore. That's how quickly it changes. So we are going to head out after spending another two hours in it. We're going to go home. We're going to work out. We're going to shower. And then maybe after some food, 
we will come back and try to jump into the Friday night game, which I guarantee you will be better than this game is right now. So that's the plan. Um, today's results, I was in for a number, and I was out for more than the original number. <laughs> we'll just say that. Um, but like always, if you like the vlogs, like the vlogs, um, subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, I will probably respond. Bye. Thank you, sir. Um, they told me per um pa bum bum. A newborn king to see per um pa bum bum. Well, it's all good, like having some modicum of skill or whatever, but sometimes you just want to just cooler the fk out of some <laughs> Our finest gifts we bring, pa rum pa bum To lay before the king, pa rum pa bum bum. We back. Wait, how pretentious is this? We back. Rum pa bum bum, rum pa bum bum. Sorry to disappoint you, but I didn't mess up that many times this time. <laughs> Not that many. Near perfect. I've stolen a... <laughs> We're in a good game now. So, my image in this game, I think, right... <clears throat> um, right now, I'm just out here. I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to get back in there because we... Not in unhealthy state. <laughs> oh my god, turn that off. Yeah, for you. Because I love you. <laughs> You ever see that movie, uh, Sh uh, Shutter Island? He's like fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, Shutter Island. Fucking awesome. What a bizarre movie. Yeah, Shutter bizarre Island. Bizarre that was a great movie, though. Was a great reference. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It's it was. not real. <laughs> <laughs> this is unbroken. Shutter not real. Island. Holy shit. Where'd you pull that out of? <laughs> 